What's up guys, um, Shay. Today we'll be checking out a video called Teaching Mitch's Dad Gay Slang by Superfruit. Before I say anything, this is not an invitation for you to request every other Superfruit video on YouTube. I don't react to all their videos, but I've seen this uploaded and I was very curious because I did not know gay slang existed. I'm like, what the fuck? They have their own slang? I mean, obviously I'm not gay. Fucking far from it. The straightest male you ever meet, Joe. Fucking gangster. But I'm just like, I can't even think of one single gay term. That's slang. See, I'm trying to think of one now. I can't think of anything. So I'm like, this might actually make a good reaction video. Because I'm going to be learning something right now. And I'd like you guys to be a part of my lesson. In saying that, I know a lot of people use the term gay. As an insult. I've been called gay many times on this channel because of certain reaction videos. Because I didn't have the majority opinion. I went against the grain. People call me gay for it. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? How is gay an insult these days? We're not in the fucking 90s. That doesn't mean shit to me, Jay. You're either fucking stupid or you're a fucking child. How about that one? Honestly, homophobes are just as bad as racists. They're the equivalent to each other. Let's check it out. Uh, top, a top and a bottom. Do you know about this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get to it. Hi, 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 I'm He's uh, a... Thousands of retweets. Thousands of retweets. He's a fan of The Walking Dead. He created he Mitch Rossi. He created, he helped to create me. But he didn't like me. Please welcome Mike Rossi. Mike Rossi. Sit back now. So today what we're going to do is inform Mike of the definition of some gay slant yeah. terms. Jesus, they look so much alike, eh? Okay. see if you can figure it out. First time I've seen them in video form. Is... Beat. Beat. Like, like, whoa, you look beat. Oh, she is so beat. She's so beat. She's so beat. What the fuck? Probably means something that's, uh, you're a girl. No. That's it. 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 Then they're beat. It's yeah. like when like you do makeup, you're like you're beating their face. So they're beat. That's the makeup is on. Just seriously a gay thing too. Hunty. 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 Hunty
I want to kiki like I want to hear the hot coffee to spill the tea at the kiki. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This next one sounds really dirty, but it isn't. Okay. Oh my god, I gag. <laughs> like, yeah. like I'm gagged. Like uh, you're keeping someone from saying something? Or? No, that's really No, good. that's actually that's smart. That's, that would make sense. Well, something's like really, like you like something a lot or something's really cute or someone. Well, not something. But something you like, and you're like, oh my god, I'm so happy. Like, that's amazing. That's yeah, this is awesome. good. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, this yeah. is just as bad as American oh, slang. One. Next one is, this is a really important pivotal phrase, right? And it's a uh, growing shade. Growing shade. Well, we all know what that is. Close. Like, the, like organized crime? <laughs> I think that's more. No, throwing shade is is like when you kind of insult someone. Yeah, that's more of an American slang oh, than a gay like, slang. Oh, wow. sure and that's an originated yeah, from gay people. Not that yeah, it matters. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Is that what they call it in the street? Like, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> the next one is point. Twink? Mm-hmm. Twink. Mm-hmm. Like Twink, Jay, you know, when you... Uh, the pink. Twink. Yes. Yeah, in a, in a way, yes. Yeah. It's like a, a boyish... A boyish hero. That's like, has like no hair. I know I'm young looking. Okay, do you want to read the sign? Um, uh, top, a top and a bottom. Do you know what that is? I feel like it's Is this so like... Yeah, if they were... Bed. From the waist up attractive or waist down. Oh my gosh! I'm just guessing here. Actually, there are different words for that. The top is. Okay, so basically, the right and the bottom is the receiver. Well. I basically answered that one right. Out of all the fucking questions. Tulsa, Oklahoma, because we just had our biggest headline show ever of our lives here, and we just got off stage actually. Like yeah, buddy. And it was like the most fun I've had on stage in a long time. Me too. My weekly obsession would have to be driving. Driving? Because we've driven down to Birmingham. Driving. That was like 10 hours. 10 hours. Five today. Five today. It's meditating. Yeah. Yeah. They got the same eyes, eh? Look at the old man and Mitch. Who they are? I feel like it's a little douchey. No, I didn't think it was neat zero. I think people are like, oh my god, he thinks he's punk rock because he has tattoos and blonde hair. <laughs> but honestly, no. I'm holding my life. Everybody who sees this song that was doing anything else today, we will f***ing die. Plus, I've only been listening to Lemonade, so I need to do another Lemonade song, but don't worry yourself. Do Lemonade, because she is screaming. Honestly, I don't think much of the album. Oh, sorry, but this week, it's so much stuff she's going off. Yeah. My Overrated song of Jay. the week is um, old, but I played it today in the dressing room because that's funny. I want to be here really bad. It's by the Grace of God by Katy Perry. Oh my God. Oh, that's such a random selection. Yeah. They are so pretty. We saw her live in um, Scotland once. She sang the song. I'll never forget it. Okay. Okay. story. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for doing it. It's super good. Thanks, Mike, for coming on. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for having me. And yeah, that was less uncomfortable than I thought. Yeah. Did you learn all that? Actually, it was. Given for me as well. Well, there you have it. Guess you learn something new every day. Gay slang. Seriously, out of all the ones that I was closest to getting right, had to be that one. Out of all of them. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Not that I'm worried, because I have Bay on my side. She will keep me down the straight and narrow path, getting to where I need to be, to getting to where I want to be, to getting to where all males want to be, but only one could ever be. And I am destined to be that one that will forever be where I need to be. I don't know what that was. Did you guys know those terms? Because I sure as hell didn't. I'll take that as a blessing in disguise. Anyway, see you on the next video. Honestly, I knew who Mitch's dad was before I even seen him in any videos. Cause I'm following several of you guys on Twitter and all I ever fucking see down my timeline is pentatonics, pentatonics, pentatonics. The parents, the brothers, the sisters, the whole fucking family. And saying that, Mitch's dad, it's my extended family right there. Titty, 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 titty.
Gotta hold down the city, city, city. 